Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MIK. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis several times last week, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's monster move, definitely some updates need to be done. First thing I'm going to do, though, is some house cleaning and go ahead and get rid of these lines here. Yes, these levels still pertain to the chart. They're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation point of view, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update, though, that does need to be made comes about from a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, they tend to act as support. So $8.25 would be one of the newer areas of support. The ideal level of support going forward, we say, hey, Clay, what makes this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up above 860. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 860, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay above there, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above. 860 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Initial level of resistance right now, just simply where the party stopped today, and that was right up at 925. But resistance levels truly don't matter on this one. What do I mean by that? Well, what matters is what the price has already been doing over and over again, and that is this right here, just building those higher lows. So as long as those lows keep getting higher and higher, or if you want to picture those as stair steps, so as long as the stair steps continue to be constructed in the upwards direction, then given enough time, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on healthy consolidations and building higher bases and just sit back and let the trend do its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.